Hey guys, today on Ellie and Bean, I'm going to be filming a puppy's first bath at home video with my mini golden doodle puppy Bean. And our bathroom's having a few troubles, so we're going to be filming it in our kitchen sink that we cleaned and put a stopper in so that she doesn't get caught. And we brushed her so that she doesn't have any mats before we give her a bath. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you the things that I have for her bath. Okay, so here I have some American Kennel Club um, shampoo. And this shampoo is for dogs with strong odors. And I just feel like since she's a puppy, she gets into a lot of things. And it's just good to have one that makes her smell nice. And it says that it deodorizes up to 14 days, so that's really good. And we got this from the breeder so that we know it's good for puppies. And we just have a towel here for when she's done. So I'm turning the water on and we have a sprayer. So we're gonna use that and just get her wet. I'm sure she has had a bath before, but never at home. Oh, no bean. But not, not too hot. Okay, so we're gonna make it warmer. Oh, beanie, stay. Stay in here, I know you don't know that word yet. Okay, so I have some shampoo, Beanie, stay. And I'm just gonna start rubbing it in. She really wants to get out, but she's gotta learn that the bath time is fun. And it does smell really good. And you don't wanna give them baths too often or their skin will get too dry. But you want to give them baths. I've done some research on this. You want to give them baths of like once a month. Okay, so I'm just getting her head now. And I'm being really careful around her eye area. But still getting all of her face. And under her chin. Just distributing some of the shampoo. And then getting her tail. Okay, now we're going to take the water again and start rubbing her off and it is warm but not hot and you definitely want to not put any nice clothes on when you're doing this because you will get wet and I'm tilting her head up so it doesn't get any water in her eyes and then I'm just gonna rinse my hand off and get her snoot, get her tail, her legs. I think that she's all cleaned, and now it's time to dry her off. She is on a towel. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to scrub her off so she, her fur gets dry. And you can also use a blow dryer for this part, but I would might not suggest it for puppies because it's very loud. Yeah, you're very wet. And you definitely want to praise them a lot, so after this is all done, I'm gonna give her lots of treats. Oh, she's hugging my hand. Okay, she's dry. Enough fix for her ears, so be very careful. I think. I'm gonna brush her now. And I'm gonna put her on a towel when she's in the living room. Now, I'm gonna be very careful because puppy's skin is very sensitive. She did very well, she didn't yelp or anything. Oh yes, you shake it out for, you're not dirty anymore. You're not dirty anymore. And this is just a safari wired bristle brush. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's a very good dog brush and it makes them super soft. We also have a soft coated beaten terrier, so we use this brush for her too. So we wanna wash Bean or a lot, maybe not use so much soap, but we wanna get her used to the water so she's not scared of it and she likes the water and she likes the bath time get under your ear but I don't want to brush in her ear just under the where, where her ear flops because she has floppy ears oh let me brush your face you're so silly 
being super careful not to get it close to her eyes. Come on. Now I think I'm done with the brushing and I'm just gonna let her dry off naturally now. Okay, so this has been bath time with Bean and I think we're gonna start a Grooming with Bean series with brushing and other grooming things, maybe some like bandanas, bandana try on hauls, you could call them in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye. Tick, tick, tick.